Welcome back to the practice today. Today is day 26 in the 30 day yoga series. Get on your mat. Today's practice is a 20 minute yoga flow. So find an easy seat and let's begin our practice today. I'm sitting on a block. If you'd like, you can use a pillow or a cushion or a yoga block if you have one. We'll start to center into the practice. Let the eyes close and find your ujjayi breath. As you press down through the sitting bones, lengthen the spine and reach through the crown of the head. Visualize the breath coming up from the base of the spine to the top of the head and back down. Filling your container with new energy. You can bring your hands together and we'll set an affirmation, an intention for the practice today. I am authentic and true to myself, embracing my own uniqueness. I am authentic and true to myself, embracing my own uniqueness. Can release the hands onto the thighs with the palms facing up. I love this affirmation as it relates to the Yoga Sutras of Pantanjali. See, the asana practice is only a part of living yoga. In the Yoga Sutras of Pantanjali, we have the eight limbs of yoga, and truthfulness is part of the yamas, also known as satya, truthfulness. I'll link uh, the shorts videos that I have created a few months ago, and you can go ahead and watch some of those to get a better idea about the yamas, the niyamas, and the eight limbs of yoga. So let's begin the practice today by coming into downward facing dog. And I'd like you to press down into your hands and your feet, starting to ground down into the earth, arriving in your practice, taking a breath, feeling your new energy and really connecting inwards to your light, to your truth. Take a nice long sigh out. Look forwards at your hands, walk your feet up. We'll come into Ardha Uttanasana. You can use the blocks, inhale, half lift. Exhale and fold inwards, looking inwards. Inhale, lengthen forwards. Exhale and fold. Maybe you are disconnected from your truth somewhere in your life, inhaling halfway and exhaling, folding forwards. Bring the hands to the hips, point the elbows up, lift the heads of the arm bones and rise up, release the hands. Bring the arms overhead, inhale, exhale, lower the arms down by the sides. Inhale, maybe you are in a career because that's what you went to college for, exhale but perhaps there's something deep inside that you're more connected to that you would like to be doing in your life. There's many aspects of truthfulness. Just continue to flow the arms, inhaling up, exhaling down. Let the arms stay down for a moment, reach the shoulders up to the ears, a little circle roll and breathe out. We'll fold forwards, Urdhva Hastasana, looking skyward, exhale and fold. Remember to listen to your body on your mat. 
That is honoring yourself and being truthful in your practice. Exhale and fold. You can step the left foot back. We'll come into warrior one. Line your heels up. Reach the arms up and overhead. On the exhalation, hinge forwards and reach the arms back towards the wall behind you or back towards the back of your mat. Root down, feel your strength, inhale, rise up. So we're moving with the breath. The breath isn't forced or held. Exhale and fold forwards. Remind yourself if it's too intense to hold warrior one. Breathing in and breathing out. Good, let's come back up to warrior one. Take an inhale in. Exhale, release the hands down to the ground. You can come into plank pose. Step the right foot back, lower the knees down, and lower down very slowly. We'll come into a little cobra pose. Take an inhale, cobra. Press into the tops of the feet. Exhale, fold, downward facing dog. Breathe out. Just finding a steady flow of breath. Honoring yourself, what your body's telling you. If it's too intense, come into child's pose. You can rise up onto your toes, look forwards, little steps up to the top. Ardha Uttanasana, half lift. Exhale, fold. Reach the arms out, rise all the way up. Exhale, fold forwards, Uttanasana. Right foot steps back, line your heels up, a wider stance. If you need to, reach the arms overhead. Press down into the back heel. Anchor down. Exhale and fold. Arms reach back. Pull your left hip back. Inhale. Squeeze down through the legs. Exhale. One more time. Opening up the legs and the arms and the back. Inhale and exhale. And now we'll stay in warrior one. A couple of breaths. So we have a think about just giving yourself some time to kind of stay steady in the pose, listen to anything that arises for you, and exhale, release the hands down. Come into plank pose and bend the knees, lower down. Come into upward facing dog. So you can lift the thighs off the ground, press into the tops of the feet, Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Take a nice long sigh out. Rise up onto your toes, steps forwards to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold and honor yourself. Reach the arms out and come up. Bring the hands to the heart space. Inhale, stretch the arms overhead. Exhale and fold. You can step to the middle of the mat now. Reach the arms out to the sides and either step or jump your feet apart. Turn your right foot towards the right and we'll come into warrior two. Exhale. Gaze forwards. You might feel the muscles starting to ignite or the pose becoming a little intense. Listen closely to your heart. Is there anywhere in your life where you're not being truthful to yourself, to others? Are you letting your uniqueness shine? Inhale, reach the arms up. Turn your right foot in, turn your left foot out. Exhale. Warrior two. Notice when your mind tells you, I would like to get out of the pose. That's when the real yoga begins. When you feel the need to get out of the pose, stay in the pose. As long as it's not painful, hurting you. Discomfort maybe, but not painful. And allow yourself to listen in between the breath, 
listen to your heart. All the work that we've been doing in the 30-day challenge, putting it all together as we finish up the last few days. Reach the arms up and overhead. Turn the left foot in, take a big breath, inhale. Bring the hands to the hips. Point the elbows back, squeeze the quadriceps. Inhale and exhale, fold. So you can bring the hands in line with your feet. Reach your elbows towards the wall behind you and start to bring the head down towards the ground. Lean forwards, trust yourself. If it's too intense, bend your knees a little bit. Feel your weight in your feet. Lean forwards just a bit. Using the hands to pull the torso down, rise up onto the fingers, inhale. Exhale and fold. We'll rise up halfway. Walk the hands over to your right foot, turn your right foot to the right, come onto the ball mound of your back foot, bring the hands to the heart space into high lunge, and we're gonna move into a twist. Left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. You're welcome to put your back knee down, lift the chest up towards the thumbs, deepen the twist on the exhalation. Feel your balance. Remind yourself to let go of what isn't serving you. Something might come up for you and perhaps you start shifting towards it in the next week, the next month. Exhale, release the hands down. Start to walk your hands over to the left and we go to the left foot coming into a lunge. Bring the hands to the heart. Lower the back knee instead if you need to. And reach the top of the head forwards. Take the right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Lift the chest, bringing the chest towards the thumbs. One last breath in. And release the hands down. Exhale, walk your hands all the way to the right. We'll come into plank pose. Put your knees down and descend to the mat. Now as you come down to the ground, bring your hands off of your yoga mat in line with the chest. Lift one leg up and reach it back and turn it in. Do the same with the other leg. Bring the forehead to the mat. Roll the shoulders up to the ears and back a few times. Feel your elbows 90 degrees in line with the wrist. Engage the legs. And we'll come into a larger cobra pose. So inhale, begin to press into the fingertips, are tented. Lift the chin and the chest. Let the heart open. Close your eyes. Feel the heart expanding. Opening and honoring yourself your authentic self. Maybe you have a smile, one more breath, and release down. Beautiful. Bring the arms down by your sides, take your right ear to the mat, sigh out. Turn your head the opposite way. Breathe out once again. And from here, you can roll right over onto your back and bring your arms down by your sides. Bend your legs so your feet, your heels are almost touching your fingers. Hold the edges of the mat, tuck the outer shoulder under, begin to come up into bridge pose. Roll the shoulders a little further underneath you. Feel the knees, make sure they're not splaying apart. Lengthen your tailbone. Feel your belly rise and descend. Open and expand. Peel away those layers. 
that are holding you back from allowing your truth to shine? What is it that you really want to do? Be truthful to yourself. One more breath and release. Exhale. Bring the hands onto the belly. Make a triangle, fingers, index fingers touching, thumbs touching, feet wide, knees together. Close your eyes. Sigh out through the mouth. And from here, we'll bring the feet underneath. Let the knees go wide. Now you're welcome to grab your blocks and place them under your thighs. And we'll finish the practice today in Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined bound angle pose. You can take the arms by your sides with your palms facing up. Relax your hips. Let your breath fade off into the distance. As you start to hear my voice again, let your fingers begin to curl in. Small, gentle movements, being kind to yourself. Bring the hands to the outsides of the thighs and bring the knees together. Hug your knees in. Give yourself a warm embrace. Roll to one side, take a fetal position. Bring your knees close into your belly. Cover your eyes. Listen to the whisper of your heart. It's a good place to ask yourself anything you need to know. What is it that you need to change in your life? Where can you be more compassionate to yourself? Where can you slow down or perhaps be more active? Taking these few moments for self-inquiry to really allow ourselves to grow off of the mat and live our yoga. You can push down into the earth and rise up slowly. And take your hands to your heart space. Remind yourself that every day, every breath is a new beginning, a new beginning to listen to your heart, to honor yourself, to be true, and to let your own uniqueness shine in your life. You only have one, so let it be your life. I wish you so much love and gratitude. Namaste. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel right here and perhaps try this yoga flow right here. See you tomorrow for day 20.